everyone, how's it going? So I've been getting a lot of requests to do this video and I'm finally gonna do it. It's kind of took a long time and it was a little bit of a challenging video to attempt to draw, but I finally buckled down and did it. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to draw the Mega Kaiju from Pacific Rim 2. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now the first thing we want to do to start off with our Mega Kaiju is to draw the eyes. So I'm going to start right here on my paper and I'm just going to make a little line that's just going to go down and then up like this for one eye. And I'm going to make one that goes down and up right behind it for another eye. Then I'm just going to connect it with some little curve lines. Now there's going to be three more eyes here, so I'm going to draw three more of these little check mark shapes. And I'm going to add three more little lines underneath it for the eyes. Then I'm going to add a little line down here. Starting up here, I'm going to make a little line that goes up and down, and another one that goes up and down for above the eye. Make a little line that goes out, and it's going to come down for kind of like where the nose would be. And we'll kind of curve in this line right here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out. It's going to come down and then up like this. And then I'm going to go down, and I'm going to curve it out right here. Next, starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go out. I'm going to curve it back and have a little line down. Then right here, I'm going to add a little line that's going to be kind of bumpy. I'm going to make a big pointy line that comes out and it's going to go down like this. Then I'm just going to kind of curve it back up here with some different little bumps. I'm also going to put another one that's going to go up. It's going to come down and then up like this. We'll add a little curved line up to here. Next, I'm just going to add some teeth. They aren't really big teeth, so we're just going to put some small, sharp teeth at the top and the bottom. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that goes up and then it's going to come down. And then right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up, and then it's going to curve down like this, and then come down here. Now, the Mega Kaiju has a lot of details on here, and I'm not going to be able to get every single one, but we'll try to do as many as we can on here. Next, I'm going to start here. I'm going to add some curved lines for the neck. Right here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down, and then it's going to curve right around here. Draw a line that goes down, and then I'm going to make one that comes out here at an angle. I want to make a line that goes up and down for one of the claws, and another one here that goes up and down for the other claw. I want to make a line that's going to come down like this for that third one back there. I'm going to bring this up, and I'm going to add some little spikes on the end here. Then I'm going to make one that goes really high up and then connects to here. I'm going to make a little line that's going to come up to here. And then we're going to make some more little spike shapes that come out of the side. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's going to go down and up to kind of start where the body's going to be. And the Mega Kaiju has four different legs on here. So I'm going to start by drawing a line that's going to go down. It's going to come to a point, and it's going to curve back up here. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to come down, and then it's going to go up. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down, and it's going to curve in, and then it's going to go over. Then starting right here, I'm going to make a little line that goes down. I'm going to draw one of the legs. So we'll go down. 
make a little line that's going to curve down and over, another one that curves down and over, and then one more right here. Then I'm just going to bring this one up, and we'll just add a couple little spikes onto it. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of space, we'll draw a little line, and I'm going to draw the next leg. We're just going to go down. We're going to make a line that comes out to here. We'll make another one that goes down, and then we'll add another one of these feet right here. Make these sharp toes. Make a line that goes up and down. Make a line that goes in. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to go up. We're going to put some spikes on it, and I'm going to bring it down to here. I'm going to add another line right there. Then starting over here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down and up. I'm going to make a line that's going to go over like this. Another one down, and then we'll make a little foot over here too. We're not going to put all of them in here, but we'll make a little line that goes up. Now, starting over here, I want to add uh, the other hand. So I'm just going to make a little line that's going to come out here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve down. It's going to come back. Another one right here that's going to go down and back. Bring this line up, and then we'll just bring it over to here. Now I want to come in here and start adding some of the spikes on the body. And this is going to be a lot of little details, so I'm just going to go through this the best I can. I'm going to start right here. We're just going to add a nice big spike that's going to go up and down. And I'm going to add some more spikes up here. We'll add some different points onto them. And we're just going to add some different little spikes and everything on here. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add some more spikes right uh, in between all these. So you can see right where these lines meet. I'm just adding some other little spikes. Then I'm going to come in here and add some more just to kind of fill up the whole area because his body is made up of pretty much nothing but like armor plated spikes. So we're just going to bring these down here. I'm going to make a little bit of like a jagged line down here just to kind of show where the armor plates are separate from underneath his body. And I'm going to add some little curved lines under here. Now, I don't have a ton of room for the tail over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some little spiky lines that are going to come down to here. We'll have them go right underneath here, and then I'm just going to add some more spiky lines that are just going to curve right around here for the tail. Then starting back here, I'm just going to add some little jagged lines just to make it look like there are some armored plates for the tail. Down here we're going to make a long line and then some more just kind of jagged lines over here for more armor plates. Okay, so here's our basic shape of our Mega Kaiju. Now we want to come in here and add some of the details. There are a lot of details. We're not going to get them all, but we're going to try to get some of the main basic ones in here. Now the first thing we want to do is start with the eyes. So I'm going to add some little curved lines underneath the eyes. Then I'm just going to add a few little kind of detailed lines on here. Make some little lines right around the mouth. Some little lines right around here. We'll add some more little eye ridges around the eyes. I like to make some little curved lines on here. A few little detailed lines, some broken lines just to kind of give the uh, spikes some texture. Add some little lines right around the mouth here. Then we're just going to add some little kind of broken curved lines on all these spikes. Sometimes when I have a little dip or indentation, I just kind of make some little extra lines there. Gives it a little bit more detail. I'm going to add some more little broken lines all around here. Then 
gonna add some little claw shapes, some little lines right around each claw. I'm gonna add some little curved lines onto the actual claws. Make a little detail line up here. It's really kind of up to you on how you want to do this. There are lots of different line works and details that you can add. I'm just gonna add some little lines in here. I'm gonna add some more right over here. I'm gonna add some curved lines onto these. And I like to add a few extra little wrinkle lines just to make some more details. I'm gonna add some little extra lines just right around the body here. And some more lines over here on some different parts of, you know, the scales and textures. It's just kind of up to you. You can just have some fun with this, play around, just, you know, make some different lines. The biggest thing is just to add lots of little broken lines, go in different directions. And it's all about you how much texture and detail you actually want to add into your Mega Kaiju. There's so many different things. I'll add some little curved lines on here. There's so many different things, and, you know, we could spend probably, you know, two hours drawing this, putting every single detail in, but we want to try to make some of these videos a little faster. But you can go ahead and add more if you want to, or you can just keep it like this. I'm just going to leave mine like this because, like I said, we could be spending lots of time on this. But overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Here is our drawing of Mega Kaiju from the Pacific Rim 2. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.